So the Star Wars Hour, Episode 2, with Roman numerals this time. So it's actually official. And that's it. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, come back for Episode 3. Uh, I was, but... I was about to say, who's on first? Who's on first? I was yeah. really about to. <laughs> um, but what's up, man? What what's are you up, doing? Harry? How you been? How you been? Good, good. I'm, uh, I'm chilling right now. Um... I just got a sandwich. Oh, a sandwich? Do you have any Not blue milk on the sandy, side? No, I, I don't. I don't mess with knuckle knuckle sandies. You want knuckle sandy? Did you cake hold Tinker Bill? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you don't know what that is, definitely YouTube it. Um, but we have a decent amount to talk about today. I I don't even know. I don't even see the list. I'm we, just I'm here. I'm and it's so much to talk about that we have no idea what we're gonna talk about. Um, yeah, like there's but, so much to, to to go over. We we just don't know. There's just too much. Um, I you know what? We'll we'll start out with a little little question. Okay. Would you rather be a rebel or an imperial stormtrooper, and why? Hmm. So what would you rather be? <laughs> Stormtrooper. I don't know. I like stormtroopers. But why though? I don't know. They cool. <laughs> I don't know. There's no. I can't justify why I would pick them over the rebels. I just like them. They're cooler. I guess. I don't know. Cause I feel like they're. Well, they're just they're more badass. Okay, that's fair enough. Um. What do you pick? I don't know, honestly. I would probably. See, I feel like I would go Rebel Alliance. You know what I'm saying? I'd probably go Rebel Alliance. Uh, only because of, like, the sheer fact that, like, I just don't really care for the Stormtroopers. Like, like yeah, they're cool, they're OG and everything, but, like, when, it, when I think of, like, the Troopers and what looks the coolest, I mean, the First Order is dope. You know, obviously the Clone Troopers are A1. You know, Phase 2, Phase 2 armor are A1. Phase 1 can suck a big old donkey dick, but... You know, but it's one, we're gonna let that slide. We're gonna let that slide. Um, nah, but I'd probably choose the Rebel Alliance. I mean, also the X Wings. I love the X Wings. I like the X Wings over the Tie Fighters. I like the way the fighters, but the way the Tie Fighters sound. Uh, oh, but... it's just, it's just, it's recognizable to hear the to the, hear the Tie Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded pretty good. Uh, I'm not. I'm. Sometimes you just a, a true Star Wars fan can make practicing? a sound. No. Yes. I lied. I totally have been practicing. Yeah. No. Yeah. I practice every day. <laughs> when I, wake up. I mean, there's. A, I feel like true Star Wars fans cannot practice it, and we'll just give it their all, even if it sounds like shit. They'll be like, Nah, dude, that was bomb. That was absolutely bomb. <laughs> Um, did you see, um, I don't know if you saw this on YouTube, uh, you know who the Hacksmith is, right? Mm, sounds he makes, familiar. He makes a bunch of, like, inve not necessarily inventions, he didn't come up with them, but, like, he he's, like, a li real-life Tony Stark, he makes some of the armor. Oh, you're uh, talking about the dude that made the, he made a lightsaber! Plasma saber. saber, he made a plasma proto-saber. He's made, like, three different that. lightsabers, proto-sabers. Love how he's done that. Nobody else has come close, but he, I know, he's, he's <laughs> it out. dude, it's nuts. It's crazy. I just saw he just released a few days ago uh, a video of them like actually using it, and it kind of works. Like, I mean, he clicks it and it turns on. He clicks it and it turns off. Now the deactivation isn't as clean, but I mean, it works, right? Instead of having this rod, which so the first proto saber, if you didn't watch it has like its metal coils around this rod and then the coils heat up and that's what creates the lightsaber but for this it was plasma and it was really cool like he was like throwing uh, different salts at it and he was making it change color like he had like red orange i think he had yellow and green um because the base version was just blue amazing that, i know that's... Oh, when are they going to be available for purchase is what exactly, i want to know exactly 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 um, then again, I don't think I should be trusted with that. There's a bunch of people that have made, like, air quote proto sabers that are actually pretty cool, but they've just been, like, made of fire or something. Yeah, I've seen, seen them. That. They're just, like, straight, like, things. Beams this of is, fire. Like, a little flamethrower. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like... I don't feel like it's ever going to happen, because isn't it, like... I don't, I don't really know... 
the laws of like I guess it would be physics is what it would be. I got you. It's I but got like, you. The explanation for it is you can't curve plasma. Because the point of a lightsaber you would is plasma, but you would need to bend it, bend it back. But there's no way to to bend plasma back around without having like a metal rod already in place or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I think it, he had, I think he had mentioned that. <clears throat> yeah, because I I I mean I've heard that explanation so much so it's like ingrained into my memory now. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if you had a laser sword, uh, I don't think you'd be able to cap the the end of the laser, actually, right? Like, you couldn't yeah, cap it. It would just saying. go on in forever. And then, so the only alternative would be to bend it back, but there's, like, you can't, there's no no way we have available now, I think, to bend it back. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, like, maybe a long time ago they could have, you know what I'm saying? Oh, in a galaxy. Far, Probably far, far, far away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but not, not like close. Not not really not close, happy. close, but like not far either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Um, no. but I I mean it's just crazy. Like watching the video, like like I actually get excited watching. I'm like, oh my god, somebody actually created like a lightsaber. Like it would be like an air quote lightsaber, and it's pretty hot. Like I'm sure you could probably burn somebody pretty well with that, just like just by hitting them with it once. Like it's happening. We're, we're <clears throat> this is this it. It's happening. Mm -hmm. Lightsabers are maybe not how we want them, but you know. It, but it's, it's a step in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? It was cool though. Like he took uh, like you know they do tests with it and all, and they have like foam dummies and they cut through it. But you know, um, like from Episode One when Qui Gon like stabs the lightsaber into the door and starts twisting it. Right, and it makes uh, like the like metal from the other side. He was like, "They are breaking through. <laughs> how is this possible?" <laughs> but how is this possible? <laughs> Where are those droidikas? <laughs> um, but what was out there? we won't survive these. <laughs> <laughs> um, like he actually did that. Like they they took the proto saber, and obviously it's just like it's just heat. It's not an actual like beam. So if, I'm sure if you waved it, it would like wave like a flame. But they yeah. held it up to this door, and it, like you could see the metal getting hot from the other side, like it did in the movie. And I was like, dude, I'm so excited right now watching this. I was genuinely like a little school kid. It was amazing. I wonder how it would have, how it felt to wield it, to be the one doing that. Like I felt it was a lot of power. It was unlimited power, probably. Yeah. You know, power if we do. Limit. If we do these puns too early on, when we get to the later episodes, we're not going to have any puns left to do. You know, you should have a little Wars. counter that just counts how many times Star we Star Wars do puns we do. Pun. Maybe, I, know, like, I don't think we'll run out. I think after we do enough episodes, maybe I'll get someone to go back and like watch them and then make a compilation video of all the Star Wars puns we've made for the podcast. Oh my god. Really I, did, I did see that... Um, what was it daisy ridley was because it came up a lot of the stuff that i talk about is like coming up in my youtube feed <laughs> but like uh YouTube i saw my main source of information right now it is 100 percent. i saw that uh daisy ridley or at least the title said it was like daisy ridley won't get hired because of this or whatever and it was basically talking about it was mainly Kathleen Kennedy because like, you know, I don't know if you saw the stuff about them saying like, oh, well, you know, it's it's always been the plan for Palpatine to be, you know, the main villain of the whole, you know, sequel trilogy, since he technically is the villain for the entire Skywalker saga. But, you know, she she came out and said in an interview or whatever, she was like, oh, no, like, I mean, there was talks in the during the first movie that it was, you know, I was Obi-Wan's granddaughter or something. And then it was yeah. I, then I was nobody. And then it was, you know, this. And then we we're back to that. And then finally, in the last movie, they're like, uh, Palps is is granddaddy. And she was like, oh, OK, that's fine. But there was like never one set thing on what they were doing, even though Kathleen Kennedy was like, oh, nope, it was our plan the entire time, you know. And it's like, they kind of, like, apparently have it out for her because, you know, she's telling the truth of what happened, which is kind of whack, you know, but. Send it after Daisy Ridley? Mm-hmm, after she, after she had came yeah. out with that interview. Which, I mean, I'm, I would be upset, too, if I was lying to the, you know, the fan base and everything, you know, <laughs> about everything. And got exposed for it. Exactly.
They should just have, I'm telling you, dude, they need to just put Dave Filoni in charge. Oh, oh yeah. Dave Filoni One is thousand. like um, Kevin Feige. Like how Kevin Feige is yeah. for uh, Marvel. Like he... He gives off the vibe of a genuine fan. Is what I... Yeah. From it. He is. He is a genuine fan. Like someone that is like an actual fan. He, does, he also... Like he has... He does a good job with what he does. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he put he puts the effort in because he today. enjoys it. Mm -hmm. I saw a post today where somehow, how, um, I think it was on Twitter, but somebody was talking about how Dave Filoni literally had to dance around the fact that Anakin never met Grievous before Episode 3. <clears throat> so for the duration of the Clone Wars, he had to basically, pretty much every episode that had Anakin and Grievous in it, he had to think, okay, they can't meet. They cannot, because Anakin literally says you're shorter than I expected. So he, yeah. they have to, and he did it. I don't know. I never really thought about it that way before either. Like I didn't really realize, like, yeah, dang, he's never met him. Yeah, I, I know I had seen something about that a while ago, but like, and I was gonna go back and like, oh, dude, I'm gonna rewatch the Clone Wars and see if they slipped up at all. And then I was like, you know, I love watching the Clone Wars. But do I really just want to go through seven seasons? It was six at the time, but like seven seasons of, you know, these episodes just to see if Anakin doesn't ever meet Grievous until that movie. There are, I mean, because there are you. Well, I personally know what episodes where Grievous were in. Like, if I'm looking at the list, I can tell you if Grievous is in it or not, if Anakin's in it or not. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, I don't know. I, I will, I'll go through and rewatch it. I'll do it right now. Bet. We can just do that and start critiquing the videos. Um, right. What would you... What did, I was going to say, like, I was just thinking about the... You were talking about the... You know, you could list the episodes and stuff. And, like, like a particular episode came to my mind for some reason. Um, what, What is, like, your favorite... You can only choose one little arc or anything. Uh, what would be your favorite episode... Uh, or arc, I guess you could say, because it could be multiple episodes of the Clone Wars series. Okay. Oh, that's see, that's tough. That's tough. There's two, two on my mind. Um, I have to pick either the final arc, obviously, or the Umbara arc. That was I really like that one. Every like the Umbara one was like one of my favorites. Um, I might. I'll go with the Umbara one just to. Mm -hmm. Just to mix it up. Okay, just to mix it up. Because I feel like I know which one you would have gone with otherwise. Which one? Oh, the assault on Camino. Fuck you mean. Oh, man, yeah. Dang. Okay, oh, that on. wasn't that the one you were thinking? What was the one you were thinking? <laughs> um. Let me see. I don't know, there's a lot of arcs that I really like. Mm -hmm. That's the Umbara one's gotta be one of my top ones. Umbara is always the top one. Wars, I love, like... I love like watching clones fight and stuff. I feel like like that's like the, one of my favorite aspects is watching clones just go in. I you know there's one arc that I feel like I don't remember it at all was the uh, Zilla Beast arc. I remember that one. I just don't remember it, dude. Like I feel like I need to go back and watch I don't that. <laughs> I I remember one scene of it getting out. Yeah. On Coruscant. That's it. Yeah, that's all I kind of remember is, like, little screenshots in my mind. But, like, other than that, I definitely don't remember. Um, I don't really go back and rewatch, like, the earlier seasons as much. No. It's um, just that, dude, the animation just throws me off. Oh, I watched the Star Wars uh, Clone movie. Wars movie Ugh. And after watching season 7, I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the animation style is definitely a little, um... It was a little out of date, should I say? Um, but God, it looked so good when it came, when season seven came. I know, right? Um, I don't know, dude. Like, I feel like the uh, the assault on Camino is is my number one. Like, if I had to pick, it's just that's just my number one. Like, I love the arc of fives, you know, obviously, and Echo becoming arc troopers is amazing. The sad death of of ninety nine, which 
you know, obviously it was heartbreaking for everyone. Seeing the clone cadets, you know, kind of step up to the plate, kill some clankers. You know what I'm saying? Some clankers? Some clankers. Uh, yeah, I like that one too. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the scene that stands out the most to me from that, um, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of good scenes. Um, oh, I liked the clone, the ARC troopers that were there, the, um, what were their names? Havoc, and there's two others, I don't remember their names, they were the ones that were, like, kind of overseeing them for a little bit. Yeah. Those guys were cool. I'm trying to think of, like, what other ARCs I really, like, really enjoyed. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think of what ooh, other arcs are there. <laughs> the Battle of Geonosis one with the zombie things. Ooh, that was I a really good one too. That. that was a really good one. It was disgusting looking at the worms going in out of their bodies. Ugh. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. Obviously, the ending, the ending arc, you know, of you know Order sixty six and Soka, and all of that was. That was amazing. I'd actually be willing to say that that's my second favorite in Venom Bara. Just because, like, the story is just so good for that. It's rich. You know? Mm -hmm. And especially with the ending and the amazing looking Darth Vader. Like, how could how could Rebels <laughs> go wrong? It looked 20 times. It looked 20 times better than. A hundred times better than the. See, Rebels, uh, Rebels the anim okay, Rebels and Resistance, the animation, total ass. I haven't seen any of <laughs> no. uh I haven't seen any of Resistance and I don't care to, but like if Rebels had the same animation style as the Clone Wars, oh my god. It'd be so good. It would be so much better. It could be so good. It's so and good tasty. And tasty. <laughs> um Oh my god, we seem like complete idiots. I feel like we're, uh, we're just over here. It's so good and tasty. Um, but I don't know any other arcs. I can't. There's definitely more. Yeah, I'm trying to think of them. I mean, you could count I guess little the, things. The Mandalore. I guess yeah. the Mandalore arcs. There's a, there's been a Mandalore arc all throughout. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, with Obi-Wan going back and then Satine dying and everything, yep. like, all that. There's, there's the, um, fuck, what is it? <sighs> Where they get, like, Anakin and Obi-Wan get captured by pirates or something like that. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember, like, the oh, yeah. smaller, like, shorter ones that I don't... Oh, when Obi-Wan fakes his death and becomes, um, the bounty hunter? That bounty hunter? Yes. Mm -hmm. And, oh, bro, the way Anakin was, like... He was so mad, dude. <laughs> Oh, oh that was good. Then there was um, what was it, Ahsoka's? You know where she was, uh, she was framed, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's a really important one. Yeah, that's a. And then it was. I got uh... one of sixty-six vibes from that one watching the clones chase her. And then it was uh, what's her face in the end? Barris. Yeah, and then when Anakin was fighting her and he was just absolutely shitting on her. I don't know why she thought she was gonna be able to do it. I know. I don't know what. She... And you know what's crazy is everyone was standing there watching. Like, like everyone was ready. Like there was the younglings, there was the temple guards, and they were all there. They could have, they could have ended the fight and arrested her, but they knew that. But like, they knew it. They knew, they knew it was Anakin personal. Had it. They knew. Yeah. But that, and they like, they knew Anakin was been to been to wipe the floor with Barriss, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were good ones. The Cad Bane arc was really good too. Facts. Um, what am I trying to think of? Rico Hardeen. That was who Obi Wan was trying to be. Yeah. It was Rico Hardeen. I would have never. I would have never. Remember, remember the, the name. name. <laughs> <laughs> it just came to me. I was trying to think of it, but then I gave up, and it came to me. Um, but, Rico um, Hardeen. Do you know there was supposed to be an arc that was got? They never. They never like made it in, but of there was supposed to be an death. arc where it showed. Yeah, with Boba. Yeah, Fett. with Boba Fett, and that's how he got the dent in his helmet. Yeah, that would have been cool to. Right, it's kind of an unfair like, advantage, I see though. It, like, they do have it because it is an it is, there is like an unfinished version of it. Like they they started animation on it and got audio. They just didn't like really they didn't just, like finish it with the finer details. So it never they just scrapped it like almost through production. I, I would have liked to see that. trying to think what other ones like i don't want to think too hard on this because i don't want to spend too much time on it but like is there any like other like mentionable i mean you have the uh 
like, would you separate the, um, like, you know, the, not the Bad Batch, uh, of, like, you know, Heavy, Echo, Fives, and all them, and then going to the actual I, Outpost? I would put that as part of it. I, so you'd say. group it up? The Rookies episode? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that was kind of like, they, it's like an arc in itself, it's just spread out. Yeah. Oh, the Mortis arc, the one where they go to the, the, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. Oh, that's that a pretty good one. In the point that Ahsoka is like that Morai, that little owl thing, that that's mm -hmm. the daughter that follows her around. It's like, oh, that dude, thing. that was a good arc. I just realized. Yeah, and Ahsoka turns to the dark side for a little bit, and like, and then Anakin almost wipes the floor with Anakin, but then Anakin's like, oh wait, I'm the chosen one. Hold on. You Anakin can... gets the visions of being Darth Vader. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh no!" And it turns and it turns into basically Darth Vader for a little bit. I saw this. Uh, I saw this meme. I can't remember exactly what it was. The words, word for word, what it was, but it actually got me in my feelies. It was like, "Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Vader the something?" And it was like, it was really sad. It was like Darth Vader, uh, the suppressed or something like that. I don't remember. It was something about, you know, just his life, his legacy and his life just being sadness. Mm. I was like, damn, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> like Zuko from fucking Avatar. That's rough, buddy. Oh, man. God. Okay, this is Star Wars hour, but gosh, Zuko, Zuko's arc. Goodness. Um... Yeah, I actually can't think. Of, I don't think there are any other notable um, story arcs. I know. Um, I mean, the Darth Maul arc, which is like it. it uh, mm -hmm. It's insane. Like it's With really, really. Savage Press. Yeah. Sorry <sighs> when, from him being resurrected. Too. When Savage Press got murked by Palpatine. Ugh. <laughs> no! 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 Mm -hmm. Did they ever explain, like, I just, for some reason, I have, like, a blank period of time of, like, why, why was Darth Maul still alive after Palpatine was just torturing him? Like, why did he leave him alive? Uh, I don't know if you knew anything about that. I don't remember why. I think it was, I don't know, it was Palpatine. Palpatine likes to flex. He does like to flex. I can't genuinely think of why Palpatine did it. I don't wonder if it has something to do with, like, he wants him to live and suffer or something. Or suffer, like, live with his brother dead as a mm -hmm. way for him to suffer, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. So, so he knows, so, like, Maul knows that he's under the control of Sidious, I guess? Yeah, that he's, he's like, that he's still, like, you know, a pawn of his. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say earlier, um, what was it? Uh, I saw this thing about, like, how, uh, it was on TikTok on how the Star Wars universe should be handled, and it was brilliant. Like, I mean, and it makes sense. Like, Marvel has set a standard in a lot of ways of, like, how movies and universes should be handled. You know, like, obviously having the, there's, like, the overarching theme was Thanos, right? Obviously, you didn't know it from the very beginning, but that was the arc, is that Thanos was gonna come and they all had to band together, right? Like, they could do that same kind of concept of having, like, uh, like you know, shorter movies or something like that, and then having it all connect for a big movie at the end. Like, if they did that with the High Republic, that would be amazing. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that, because, like, I don't know what it's going to be, but gosh, it's probably going to be insane. I just see, I, like, I don't know enough about... Uh, the High Republic to actually, and I feel like I should. I feel like I should learn a little bit more about that, but I don't know enough about the High Republic to actually like get an idea of what they're gonna do. Yeah, I don't. I actually don't know much about it either. But like that lightsaber God, design was cool though. That. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I I can probably find like a video that like goes in depth about the. Um. High Republic. Yeah, we could just literally put it on the podcast so we don't have to talk and they can do it for us. <laughs> Kill some time. All, all we gotta do is talk over it and then we don't get um, 
going to get copyrighted. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's so many, like, spinoffs, and it sucks that the only successful one that they did was Rogue One. It was only successful... When I say that, like, it was only successful in the box office. I actually thoroughly enjoyed both movies. Um, but, What's like, Rogue box office... Yeah, Rogue One and Solo. I really enjoyed both of them. I liked both of them. But it didn't do well enough in the box office. Yeah. Which for Solo, I'd say it was because of when it released. Is I'd say it's mm-hmm. main it was, issue. It was after uh, The Last Jedi, which had its poor reviews, and then it just kind of went downhill from there. I thought Rogue One did good, though. Oh, Rogue One did or amazing. Oh, okay, you were just saying Solo. Solo, yeah, 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 office. Solo. Okay. Rogue One was really I well received. Rogue One didn't. I was like, Rogue One, I think Rogue One was one of the best in terms of how, of sequel trilogy and how they, or not sequel, but post-Disney acquisition movies. Oh, for sure. I mean, it just, that movie really set, like, Star Wars as a successful franchise for Disney, and then they came out with The Last Jedi, and then they were like, oh, we're gonna take it downhill a little bit, you know? We're gonna have a little <laughs> bumpy ride, then we'll make it up again in, like, two movies. But, yeah, I mean, it was I ultimately like, like, a good episode movie. Nine. I liked Episode 9. Mm-hmm. I, there was, I have a couple gripes with it, but... I feel like there's no bad, there's not a single bad Star Wars movie, it's just that there are some movies that are worse than others, you know? I feel that too. I feel like that's because I'm such a big fan of it that I don't exactly. like, recognize if there's a bad movie, but like, I don't know. They're all good. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Exactly. Um, it's just, yeah, like, there's there's certain things that you would definitely change. Like, the, the biggest thing, other than I'm more accepting of it now, of her saying it, like, when the movie came out, I hated it, but now I'm, like, kind of like, all right, whatever. Um... At, like, if they were really trying to not only end a trilogy and have it lead up to this fantastic end, you know, to wrap up that trilogy, but to also wrap up a nine saga series, right? Nine movie series. It just didn't feel, like, spectacular, like how Endgame was. Like, Endgame really felt like oh. like Endgame it was, was driving home everything that had happened and setting, like, building blocks for what was to come. Like, it really kind of yeah. set the tone, and The Rise of Skywalker just didn't do that. I mean, it was a great movie, you know, but still. But it just, it didn't have that in-game feel to Mm-mm. it. Uh, which is why I was like, yeah, they should have just put Dave Filoni in charge of that shit. Like, it definitely would have felt more like that. I know that directing episode 5 of Mandalorian. I know, I was going to say, um, uh, what's it called? Kevin Feige is now helping with uh, The Mandalorian, which I was like, oh my god. <laughs> is it? See, that's another thing. I feel like The Mandalorian's been amazing as far as Star Wars shows go, because like, they didn't have any really amazing live-action ones. Actually, they didn't have any, did they? I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, there were there were no live-action live Star Wars shows. Unless I'm just like... No, this, is, this is officially the first. Unless you count, um, what was it? Uh, the, uh, was it like the holiday special or something like that? It was, uh, oh. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, apparently don't people talk don't talk that. about that. I've never um, seen it. I haven't never either, but they're going to come out with, uh, what's it called? Um, a new one. It's a Lego one. Okay. okay hold on. I feel like making a Lego, like, will over- undo anything bad. Speaking of Lego, um, that new game need to come out, my guy. <laughs> I'm so yeah, upset that's, that it's coming out um, next year, though. Yeah, because it was supposed to come out this the end of this year, like probably like right around now, ish. Yeah, I know. But yeah, you know, it is what I, it is. If... Game... I'm gonna <laughs> drop some hours in that game, like. I mean, if they, you know, need, uh, if they need to take the extra time to, uh, you know, make the game... ...with, like, cyberpunk and stuff, but, like, with it being Star Wars, I want it now! I haven't seen anything for cyberpunk. That's not even, like, a part of what we're supposed to be talking about, but I, I kind of want to talk yeah. about it now. <laughs> um, we'll throw that in as a bonus. As a boner. Bonus clip. What? A boner clip? trying to think um 
Alright, um, um, uh... Who talks uh, first? You talk first, I talk first. <laughs> uh, Sag? Wait, uh, uh so, okay. I did see, like, so, what if, because I saw it was kind of, like, leaked, uh, about some stuff that I may have heard from another source, um, about Jin. I think that's how you say his name is Din Din Djarin Din Djarin, no, who's the Mandalorian. Djarin. Um, that he's supposed to be like low key force sensitive. Oh, that would be sick. Right? Like I I could totally see them because I know we were talking about on the last podcast episode about uh you know the arcs of obviously him taking Baby Yoda home, but then him having to uh handle the dark saber. Right, which obviously, uh, what's the guy, um, Moth Gideon, as, uh, in his possession? You have something I want. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, where was I going with that thought? Oh, so if he like, if he uses um, the dark saber and like gets it back, can he like? potentially learn to use the force like maybe maybe he delivers uh you know yoda baby yoda to uh you know maybe ahsoka or someone and then she kind of teaches him to use the force air air quote question mark wink wink Ooh. you know what i'm saying that could be a new arc you know what i'm Please. saying i feel like that's just i'm look, I want, i'm looking for excuses just to see ahsoka in here even though she's, although it's, it's, she's confirmed at this, like she's been confirmed to be in it, which is amazing. That would be absolutely amazing if she did, though. Like if she actually did teach him, that'd be kind of nuts. Yeah, I that I would honestly cry. Because Sabine is also supposed to be in it, and I I didn't realize I actually said good for this topic. I went back and looked at um. Rebels at the end episode where after Ezra goes missing and um, what you would call it, Sabine and Ahsoka were looking at that mural. That's after episode six. That like that's after the Empire's already been destroyed. So that's actually right around the time that they would be going to find the Mandalorian. Right. I mean, it kind of fits the time frame. But um... and if they Dave Filoni, then you know Dave Filoni working on that, you know, that synergy. That synergy, my guy. Absolute synergy. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like that would be an amazing arc, but it would be kind of hard to, like, figure like, figure out, like, okay, well, um, you know, they have to fit it in, obviously, with Luke's, um, what's it called? His, uh, why am I running out of words? His uh, temple that he creates, right? Like he he obviously probably isn't going to be a part of that because it's young students that he took in, as far as I know. And uh, I mean, he could always just be like a bounty hunter that kind of knows the force, but I don't know. I feel like it would be too hard to fit them in with everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm... I forgot what I was going to say. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> I was literally in the process of saying it, and then it was like, mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. What would you want to see as, like, a spinoff? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, if you could have, like, one spinoff story that's on your mind, what would you want it to be? Oh, um... Let's see. God, there's so many. Right. Honestly, an Ahsoka one, like just the show about her and like her, what happened to her, but like a, that wouldn't work because they already have a majority of her already like shown, like a, her life is already shown. Mm -hmm. So like, it'd would have it be... to be like between? Uh, it'd have to be like after after episode three and or between episode or between Rebels and her appearance in episode uh, or in Mandalorian. Because that's still the all throughout when the Galactic Civil War was happening. Well, I was gonna ask you. I was like, well, would it be like you know, like of the books and stuff that, uh, of her and everything, or, uh, like would, 
uh, it be like during the time frame of what you're kind of talking about? I feel like the book could work. Um, I do have that that book, the Soka one. I read. I think I read it twice. And it um it I it could work as a show or a movie. Honestly, I think show better because like you know Mandalorian how they do it. like he's on one planet and that, like that whole everything he does on that planet is pretty much in that one episode. Then he goes to another planet. Mm-hmm. I feel like that could work in the Soka because there's a lot of going to different planets. Whole lot of that. Yeah, I don't know. But what uh, what what about you? What spinoff would you would you like to? I don't know, dude. Like, I feel like, hmm, I don't know. I feel like I'd really like to see something about like the Mandalorians in their prime, like the actual Mandalorians. Oh yeah. I feel like yeah. that'd be really cool. Yes. And maybe see about like the dark saber's origins and like it being created by the Jedi, uh, Mandalorian. Darth Jar Binks. Darth Jar Jar. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like that would be that would be really cool. Kind of see what happens from there. Can't really think of anything else that I'd want to see other than like, obviously maybe Boba Fett. See what happened to him. But if they're gonna potentially include him in the Mandalorian, then it kind of opens up new avenues for that. So that's already gonna happen. So yeah, I don't know. But, um. I don't know, man. Like, that was kind of really all I wanted to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Feel that. I mean, it isn't probably a full hour. We should call it, like, the Star Wars time. You know what I'm saying? We are, of course, working on the name, like we said last time. <laughs> the Star Wars. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> working on an hour or working on a new name and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's, it's really exciting. I will say, for those of the people that do watch this. Um, because we do have a good amount of listeners on Spotify, uh, Spotify. We have about like, I think it was like 190 unique viewers, which I was like, okay, really? Pog Champ. I, I actually, I didn't even. That's that's Pog. That's Pog. Pog Champ, right? Uh, we are coming so up on the one year for the actual Delinquents, uh, podcast, which is really Pog Champ. Uh, and uh. You know, we're excited to kind of start a new area. Of course, we have our podcast area that we have now, but we're going to be migrating to a new area, which hopefully we'll have a little uh, Star Wars area to do some stuff in, which would be awesome. You know, Pog Champ, of course. Ooh. But, Pog uh, Champ. Pog Champ. but uh, yeah, I guess, you know, I guess we'll just wrap it out here and then kind of see what happens. Uh, the new Mandalorian Season 2 is going to be coming out at the end of the month, so we'll have, you know, a good amount to talk about every Tuesday, because it comes out on Fridays, right? I think. Or Wednesdays. Is it Wednesdays? I think it's Wednesdays. Oh, yeah. It does. So we'll have, uh, you know, a new Star Wars hour every uh, every Tuesday, hopefully. So, uh, but okay. Well, uh, thank you for listening to the podcast. We really appreciate it. And thank, thank uh, if you, you like what you saw, definitely go and check us out on YouTube at The Delinquents Podcast, as well as on Spotify and Apple Podcasts at the same name. And uh, I guess we'll see you, Pog Champs, on the uh, on the next one. Yeah, see you guys.